Well, real talk, I have no problem with J Electronica or the cool kids at all. This was all an experiment. This whole thing I did was an experiment. I WWE the whole situation. You know what I'm saying? In order to expose certain types of people. Um, I mean, I left clues in lesson A. You know what I'm saying? The clues are there. Basically, you have the trendy bandwagon hipsters that are all over the scene. You have the internet nerds. And you have the haters. You're always going to have the haters. They rant. They rave. They yap about all this fabricated beef. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're paying attention to the drama of things before concerning concerning themselves with good music. Like this monkey see monkey do syndrome, this this fad following ways that these cats have is what's one of the big reasons hip hop is dying, yo. This is why hip hop is going in the direction it's going. Everybody's quick to complain, but you know what? I put out an experiment. I did something about it to prove certain things. How can you be nostalgic for something you didn't live through and or you don't even know about, or, or you only partly know about. Like, if you're going to do it, do it for real. Don't just do it just to do it. Don't be down just to be down. Learn your history, man. We're all students of this game. We all pay dues. So, would you say soul purpose is hip-hop? <laughs> man, listen. J Electronica is hip-hop. The Cool Kids is hip-hop. And soul purpose is definitely hip-hop. You ain't got to like soul purpose. You ain't got to buy my music. It ain't for everybody. I know that. You know what I'm saying? But all I'm saying is dig for dope music. Stop riding the waves. Soul purpose is for the people. It's by the people. If you fuck with me, fuck with me. God bless you. If you don't, keep it moving, but still God bless you. I love all y'all. Love you, hip hop. Peace. First of all, I have no problem with them seeds from the shop. What I do from New Orleans is a seed I could die. Y'all are threatened in this cultivated, culminated culture. Manufactured beef be the only way to touch up. Vicarious, living only on a screen. Try being in the streets, that shows who on a scene. I've seen how these haters despise the net bangers hate. Quality should hold its own alone and carry weight. Transporting a chance, potent and then hoping. Fans open a chance, chosen a bang, shows it. Get your shit off without the media hype. So when you drop a heat rock, it's like a meteor. Right time is so purpose, then fuck a so purpose. Me. You ain't gotta buy it, told you it's my public service. Give me big and self so you can check under the surface of epidermis. And if you get it, thank you for the purchase. Good luck. By many names, we're gonna get right into it, brother. All right. How do you feel about this new wave of quote-unquote hipster hop um, movement and these young kids rocking uh, late '80s, early '90s gear? I mean, people are free to express themselves and do what they want to do. So, I'm not against that. Uh, it's not authentic. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because when we was rocking it, when we was wearing it, it was just. That was just the everyday thing, you know what I mean? So mm -hmm. it's like people are picking things from not too long ago to say, look, I know about the gold chains, I know about the, the Chinese box cut, you know, leather piece, I know about the buckles, I know about the, the tea grades, I know about, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. With, it was just fly for us back then, you know what I'm saying? So, right. 
you know, it's like we we kind of made that style like we created it mm -hmm. from what we had you know we didn't go back there wasn't anybody wearing dookie chains right. and, and you know what i'm saying suede fronts and you know what i'm saying and really rocking like sperry's or or you know what i'm saying or jerry gooses and the colors and right. nobody was really rocking that prior to us doing it we kind of set that Tone. Those those fashion trends off, you know what I'm saying? So, I feel like, you know, each generation you kind of rock, they be creative like how we was, you know what I'm saying? But if you feel like you have to go back to do that and to get the rope and, and, the, and the door knockers and all that, it was a whole thing, it was a real thing with it, you know what I'm saying? You should do, I guess, do the knowledge on it. How do you feel about um, young people or anybody in this quote unquote hipster hop scene wearing the kafia scarves? I mean, you know, again, you know, people could do what they they want to do, you know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, you should acknowledge what it is. I think it's, it's, it's cool. I think, I think it's cool for people to investigate and find out about other cultures and other things. But you have to find out about it. I think that's it would be cool if people who was rocking it, if you saw somebody who was rocking it, you say, yo, you know where that, what, the history of that? They'd probably be like, nah, what is it? You know what I'm saying? So it's, it's interesting. It'd be cool to like, to know. You right. know what I mean? Plus, you know, in Islam, there's a thing called a zab. You know what I'm saying? And, mm. you know, the a zab usually represents, you know, the setting of a Muslim or the, or the um, the presentation, I feel like people did the knowledge and, and knew what it was about. It'd be cool, cause then somebody could rock and say, "Yeah, I know what it is," and I think it's a cool piece too. So I like it as fashion, but I do also understand the history, which makes that individual more well-rounded. You know, to me. You know what I'm um, how do you feel about hip hop heads and fans caring about beef? before they care about good music? Well, I, th I think that it's because of the, where we're at as a culture. You know what I'm saying? We we watch a lot of reality television and in a lot of reality television there's a lot of drama, real life drama. You can actually see two real people beefing mm -hmm. in a real situation. So it's like watching a train, you know, a car crash, a car wreck, you know what I'm saying? You know, you you turn on Flavor of Love, you see two girls really fighting and somebody spitting on somebody. You turn to Iron Chef and you see somebody losing and somebody really crying, like really sad. These are real people in real situations and these are our highest rated forms of entertainment. So it's no wonder that that kind of reality factor is bleeding through the music where people, you know, would like to see Max B beef him you know what I'm saying, with with, Jim with with Jim Jones and you know, Jim Jones beefing with Cam and 50 beefing with everybody or something, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's more interest in that. And the music definitely has become secondary. It's like the music is being, you know, pimped off, you know what I mean? Mm. So, uh, you know, it would be good if people got back in, into the musicality of things. Mm -hmm. But, you know, everybody has ADD and they just want the quick fix and it's sensationalism. Mm -hmm. Whatever has the biggest splash is the thing that usually attracts. Absolutely right. Brother, I couldn't have put it in better words. Yeah, yeah. I really thank you. Yeah. This has been cool. Operation Flip, Finding Lessons in Practice, Lesson B. Soul Purpose, my man Kamal, my brother. Thank you very much, bro. Thanks, B. Peace. All right. Here, huh? Shit. Hey. Is that thing on? My shit's fucking on. Hey, guys. How you doing? Hey, listen, that's what I got on the internet. It's really cool, ready? YouTube, check it out. Ready? Oh, 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 watch it, watch it.
Okay, you can do this too on YouTube. Whoa, right. Whoa, so fucking cool. You can do this, YouTube. YouTube, you, YouTube, YouTube, you, 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 you